now let us discuss about composite functions or composition of functions now we are going to solve these four examples in this concept let's see the first example let a equal to 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 so here we have a set that is a a contains four elements and r comma s are relations on a defined by r is equal to so these are the ordered pairs 1 comma 2 1 comma 3 2 comma 4 4 comma 4 s is equal to 1 comma 1 2 comma 4 2 comma 3 1 comma 3 1 comma 4 1 comma 2 find r so we can call this as composition r composition s s composition r r square and s square and write down the matrices for all these things so let us see the first one that is r composition s so r composition s means it maps from s to r s to r so we have to select an ordered pair from the s so let us select 1 comma 1 so 1 comma 1 so now we have to select a pair from r which begins with r why because here it is ending with 1 so we have to select a pair from r which begins with 1 so what are the pairs so 1 comma 2 is beginning with 1 next 1 comma 3 is beginning with 1 ok so 1 comma 1 1 comma 2 so simply we have to uh, calculate transitive closure here so we know about uh, transitive relation so if we have a comma b so if a comma b belongs to r and b comma c belongs to r then we can say that a comma c is also belongs to r so simply we have to find out the transitive here ok so 1 comma 1 1 comma 2 means we will get so 1 1 will be cancelled so 1 comma 2 so 1 comma 2 is the new pair so 1 comma 2 so next 1 comma 1 1 comma 3 so this 1 1 so 1 comma 3 a comma b b comma c means a comma c so here b b are common so we will get new pair called a comma c so 1 comma 2 1 comma 3 next so first one is over next let us second the pair 2 comma 4 2 comma 4 now we have to select a pair from the r which begins with 4 why because 2 comma 4 is ending with 4 so the pairs beginning with 4 are we have only one pair that is 4 comma 4 so 2 comma 4 4 comma 4 means this 4 4 is common so the new pair is 2 comma 4 next let us select the next pair in yes what is the next pair in yes 2 comma 3 so now we have to select a pair from r which begins with 3 there is no such pair so there is no need to take 2 comma 3 next 1 comma 3 so we have to select a pair from r which begins with 3 so no such pair next 1 comma 4 so 1 comma 4 so we have to select a pair from r which begins with 4 so that is 4 comma 4 so 1 comma 4 4 comma 4 means we will get 1 comma 4 next we have 1 comma 2 so we have to select a pair from r which begins with 2 so we have one pair so what is that pair 2 comma 4 so 1 comma 2 2 comma 4 means we will get 1 comma 4 as the new pair so 1 comma 2 2 comma 4 means uh, 1 comma 4 as the new pair so this is about r composition yes so here the result of r composition yes is 1 comma 2 so here i am arranging that portion here we have 1 comma 2 1 comma 3 so 1 comma 2 this is the first pair next 1 comma 3 second pair next pair 2 comma 4 next pair 1 comma 4 next pair 1 comma 4 2 comma 4 1 comma 4 1 comma 4 here if we observe here 1 comma 4 pair appears twice so they here we can write only once here the ordered pairs are unique so we have to write a pair only once so 1 comma 4 one time is enough so in this way we can calculate composition r composition s so likewise compute s composition r s composition r means we have to map from r to s r to s so now we have to select a pair from r so let us select a pair from r 1 comma 2 now we have to select a pair from s which begins with 2 
So 1 comma 2, here we have 2 comma 4. So we will get a new pair called 1 comma 2, 2 comma 4 means 1 comma 4, 1 comma 4. Next here we have 2 comma 3. So 1 comma 2, 2 comma 3 means we will get 1 comma 3, 1 comma 3. So next let us select the next pair from R that is 1 comma 3. So we have to select a pair from S which begins with 3. So no such pairs are there. Next to 2 comma 4. Select a pair from S which begins with 4. No such pair. So here also we have 4. So no such pairs. So this is nothing but the result of S composition R. So likewise compute R square. R square can be written as R composition R. R composition R. So here what is R? 1 comma 2. So if you take 1 comma 2, then the second one is also R. So we have to select a pair from R which begins with 2. So if you take 1 comma 2, then we need to consider 2 comma 4. So 1 comma 2, 2 comma 4 means we will get 1 comma 2, 2 comma 4 means we will get 1 comma 4. Next second pair is 1 comma 3. So we have to select a pair from R which begins with 3. But no such pairs are there. Next to 2 comma 4. So we have to select a pair from R which begins with 4. So we have one such pair. So 2 comma 4, 4 comma 4 means we will get 2 comma 4 as the new pair. 2 comma 4 as the new pair. Next year we have 4 comma 4. So 4 comma 4, if you select 4 comma 4, then we have to select a pair from R which begins with R. So that is nothing but 4 comma 4 only. So now we will get 4 comma 4. So this is about, so like this you can calculate S square also. Now and write down the matrices. So now we have to write the matrices also. Here how many sets are given in the problem? In the problem we have only one set. So if there is only one set, then the row as well as column will become that set element only. Will become that set element only. Why? Because here we have only one set. So 1, 2, 3, 4 are nothing but row values. 1, 2, 3, 4 are nothing but column values. So first write the matrix for R composition, yes. So here we have 1 comma 2. So 1 comma 2, 1, this is 1, this is 2. So if a pair is available, then the value of the matrix is 1. So at 1 comma 2 cell, we have to write 1. Next 1 comma 3. So this is 1, this is 3. So we have to write 1 here. Next we have 2 comma 4. So this is second one, whereas this is fourth cell. So here we have an element. We have a pair, so the value is 1. Next 1 comma 4. So this is 1, this is 4. So the value is 1. So the remaining values are zeros. Remaining values are zeros. So if we have a pair, then the, the cell value is 1. Otherwise the cell value is 0. So likewise, we need to write the matrix for S composition R. In S composition R, we have only two values. What is the first one? 1 comma 4. So let us write all zeros. So 1 comma 4, we have a value. So the element is 1. Next one is 1 comma 3, 1 comma 3. So here we have an added pair. So the value is 1. So remaining all are zeros only. Okay. So if an added pair is present, then the value is 1. Otherwise the value is 0. So like this, we can write down the matrix. So in this way, we can solve the problem. Likewise, you can write the matrix for R square also very, very easily. Now, this is the first example. Now let us see the second example. So what is the second example? Let A equal to 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4. So here also we have only one set is there. And R and S be the relations on A defined by R is equal to 1 comma 2, 1 comma 3, 2 comma 4, 4 comma 4. And S equal to 1 comma 1, 1 comma 2, 1 comma 3, 2 comma 3, 2 comma 4. So here totally we have to compute 4. R, R, R composition S, S composition R, R minus S, S minus R. Now let us find out R composition S, R composition S. R composition S means it maps from S to R, S to R. So we have to select a pair from S and select a pair from R which begins with that element. Okay. So first let us select the pair from S, S. So what is the first pair here? 1 comma 1, 1 comma 1. So 1 comma 1, it is ending with 1. So we have to select a pair from R which begins with 1. So we have two such pairs, 1 comma 2, 1 comma 3. So 1 comma 1, 1 comma 2 means we will get 1 comma 1, 1 comma 2 means we will get 1 comma 2. Next 1 comma 1, 1 comma 3 means we will get 1 comma 3. 
Next, next pair is 1 comma 2. So we have to select a pair from R which begins with 2. Which begins with 2. We have 2 comma 4. So 1 comma 2, 2 comma 4 means we will get 1 comma 4. 1 comma 2, 2 comma 4 means we will get 1 comma 4. Next we have 1 comma 3. But no such pair is there which begins with 3. Next 2 comma 3. Uh, which begins with 3. No pairs are there. Next 2 comma 4. Here we have 1 pair which begins with 4. So from 2 comma 4, 4 comma 4, we will get 2 comma 4. So like this we can co compute R composition S. Yes. Likewise compute S composition R. So for space constraints I am writing here. S composition R means it maps from R to S. R to S. So we have to select a pair from R. R. What is the first pair? 1 comma 2. Now select a pair from S which begins with 2. So 1 comma 2. Here we have two pairs, 2 comma 3, 2 comma 4. So 1 comma 2, 2 comma 3 means we will get 1 comma 3. Next 1 comma 2, 2 comma 4 means we will get 1 comma 4. Next second pair from the R is 1 comma 3. But beginning with 3, no pairs are there, 2 comma 4. But beginning with 4, 4 comma 4. Beginning with 4 also no pairs are there. So this is nothing but S composition R. Next we compute R minus S. R minus S. So R minus S means it contains the pairs which are present in R but those pairs should not present in S. That is R minus S. If you see here, this is R, this is S. Here, uh, if you see here, here we have 1 comma 2, 1 comma 3. So 1 comma 3 is present in S also. So we can cancel this one. So 1 comma 3, 1 comma 3. Next, 2 comma 4. 2 comma 4 is present in S also. Next to 4 comma 4. If we observe here, 1 comma 2 pair is, 1 comma 2 is also present in S. 1 comma 2 is also present in S. So 1 comma 2, 1 comma 3, 2 comma 4. 1 comma, 1 comma 2, 1 comma 3. Next, 2 comma 4 pairs are present in S. But if you see here, 4 comma 4. This pair is present only in R. 4 comma 4 pair is present in only R. But it is not present in S. So the result of R minus S is 4 comma 4. Likewise compute S minus R. S minus R means it contains the pairs present in S but not present in R. If you see here 1 comma 1. 1 comma 1 pair is present in only S. It is not present in R. So 1 comma 1 is the result. Next 1 comma 2. 1 comma 2. 1 comma 2 is present in R also. So we can cancel this one. Next 1 comma 3. 1 comma 3 pair is present in R also. So we can cancel that one. Next to 2 comma 3. So this pair is present only in S. But it is not present in R. So 2 comma 3. Next to 2 comma 4 is present in here also. So if you see here the result is 1 comma 1, 2 comma 3. So 1 comma 1, 2 comma 3 pairs are not present in R. They are present in S only. So like this we can easily compute a difference. This minus, this operation is called as difference. Now let us see the next example, example 3. Uh, let f of x equal to x square, g of x equal to x cube plus 1, then find f composition g, g composition f, f square and g square. So first let us compute f composition g of x. We can write this as f of g of x f of g of x f of what is g of x g of x means x q plus 1 x q plus 1 now what is f of x q plus 1 we know that f of x equal to x square so now what is f of x q plus 1 in place of uh, x we need to substitute x square so here f of what is f of x f of x means x square so f of x q plus 1 means in place of this x, we need to substitute this x q plus 1. So x q plus 1 whole square. So what is f of x? x square. So now we need to compute f of x q plus 1. So in place of x, we need to substitute this x value, x q plus 1. So likewise compute g composition f of x. We can write g composition f of x as g of f of x. g of what is f of x? x square. What is g of x square? We know that g of x equal to x q plus 1. So now g of x square will become in place of x we need to substitute x square. 
in place of x we need to substitute x square so x square 3 plus 1 in place of this uh, uh, g of x value means this now we need to compute g of x square so in place of x substitute x square so x square whole power 3 a power m whole power n is nothing but a power mn so we can write this as x power 6 plus 1 so next we need to compute f, f square so f square is nothing but here f square means here if a function is given if a function is given like this if a function is given like this f of x g of x then f square means simply we have to whole square f of x whereas if ordered pairs are given like this here r square here what is r r means ordered pairs if ordered pairs are given then r square means r composition r whereas if functions are given like this if functions are given then f square means f of x whole square so what is f of x whole square what is f of x x square so x square whole square that is nothing but x power 4 likewise compute g square so g square means g of x whole square what is e of x x q plus 1 so x q plus 1 whole square so we know the formula for a plus b whole square so likewise you can derive next let us see the last one let us see the last example here f of n is given g of n is given h of n is given so we need to compute uh, uh, these two okay so what is f of n n square g of n n plus 1 h of n n minus 1 let us compute the first one h composition f composition h of n here we have n so we can write this as h of f of g of n h of f of what is g of n n plus 1 n plus 1 h of now we need to compute f of n plus 1 what is f of n f of n means n square so now f of n plus 1 will become in place of n we have to substitute n plus 1 so n plus 1 n plus 1 whole square n plus 1 whole square so h of so h of f of n plus 1 so f of n means n square so now in place of this n we need to substitute this n plus 1 so n plus 1 whole square now we need to compute h of n plus 1 whole square so we know the formula for h of n what is h of n n minus 1 so h of n plus 1 whole square means in place of this n we have to substitute n plus 1 whole square so n plus 1 whole square minus 1 so we will get some result so that is the value so finally compute f composition g composition h of n so that is equal to f of g of h of n so f of g of what is h of n n minus 1 n minus 1 so f of now we need to compute g of n minus 1 what is e of n n plus 1 now in place of this n we need to substitute n minus 1 so g of n minus 1 so g of n value is n plus 1 so in place of n we need to substitute n minus 1 so then n minus 1 plus 1 that is nothing but n so f of n so what is f of n n square so like this we can solve any problem very very easily okay um, please like the video uh, subscribe to the channel as well as uh, share with your friends thanks for watching